Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's story was submitted by Chester, who on June 16th of 2022 was pulled over by officers of the Highlands Police Department in Florida. The officers told Chester that one of his taillights was out, so he began recording. It's on video, I know that. You have a name and badge number, sir. After a brief conversation of whether an officer can question passengers and whether they can conduct a traffic stop in an unmarked patrol vehicle, they offered Chester a chance to view his tag lights. Hey, you want to take a look at it, the broken tag like I'm talking about? Uh, yes, sir. Chester exits the car and inspects the rear of the vehicle, but finds that all of his lights are functioning properly. Which one, sir? Uh, sir, both of my tag lights are on. So just to let you know, okay. both of my tag lights are on, sir. Chester. Chester, okay. So the way the Florida statute reads, your tag light has to be a white light that has to be invisible with that 50 feet. Florida Statute 316.221 states that either a tail lamp or separate lamp shall be so constructed and placed as to illuminate with a white light the rear registration plate and render it clearly legible from a distance of 50 feet to the rear. In the video, both stock bulbs that came with the vehicle can be seen from a few feet away. While driving at night, it would be impossible for the officers to know whether the plate was visible or not unless they came within 50 feet of the vehicle and shut off their headlights to see whether the lights function properly or not. Of course, they wouldn't risk such a dangerous operation for such an arbitrary infraction. Or would they? While there's no indication or testimony that that is what occurred on this occasion, looking deeper into the video exposes much more about this stop than what we see and hear. After Chester explains that he just bought the truck, the officer tells him that he isn't there to issue a ticket. Well, I mean, that's how I got the truck. I just got the truck. I can't tell. Hey, you know. we're not here to give you a ticket or anything like that, Chester. I understand that. If the officer isn't there to issue a ticket for such a minor infraction, then why pull him over in the first place? To answer that question, we must look deeper into the statute again. Whether a license plate is clearly legible from 50 feet is subjective. What one person can see from that distance, another can't. This allows for arbitrary and discriminatory enforcement of the statute. If an officer sees a vehicle they want to search, or a person they want to harass, this statute allows them to lawfully initiate a traffic stop, then introduce the inaccuracies of a canine unit, and you've paved the way for what otherwise would have been an unlawful seizure and eventual search of the vehicle and its occupants. I have received an incalculable amount of similar videos, where the tag lights are very clearly illuminated. In fact, a similar stop is responsible for the rise of Direct D's channel. But the nonsense of this stop doesn't end here. Referring once again to the Florida statute, we find in the next sentences that any tail lamp or tail lamps, together with any separate lamp or lamps for illuminating the rear registration plate, shall be so wired as to be lighted whenever the headlamps or auxiliary driving lamps are lighted. One Florida resident had been the victim of these whimsical traffic stops so many times he fastened a flashlight to his trunk, creating now three sources of light to end any doubt of whether it was visible from 50 feet. But this still wasn't good enough. As it turns out, bolting a flashlight to light your license plate is illegal. I mean, it's great that the license plate is, is lit, but you're still not in compliance with the statute. Florida law says your license plate light needs to be a white light, visible from 50 feet, and wired into the car's lighting system. Clearly not the case here. So if illuminating the license plate doesn't matter, and these officers didn't pull Chester over to cite him, why was Chester pulled over in the first place? I'm not here to give you a ticket or anything like that, Chester. I it's understand like, that. We're right. out here, you got to kind of make it a little bit complicated for us, which kind of like raises my attentions about what's going on. Simple traffic stop. I'm not out here to give you a ticket for this stuff. Whoa. But like I said, it is a lawful traffic stop. If you want to read the Florida statute, by all means, we'll give the statute. You can read it yourself. It has to be a white light. It has to be visible within 50 feet. I understand. Listen, I'm not trying to give you guys any trouble, but I mean, it's just kind of, I mean, we've seen you guys flip around. It was like instantly, oh, they're going to stop us. Yeah. What? Well, I'm sitting there wondering what even for, you know? Yeah. Which, like, like I said, we're not here to do I mean, hell, all my lights are work. I mean, I just went through, I just got this truck. You you I just got this truck like, what, five months ago from my pops? Five months ago. So I'm, I'm going through. I've been I making sure. Under your name. It's under his name right now because I'm making payments to him. Yeah. But. Pretty much, I've been going through getting everything right on this. I just fix the tail lights and every time. I'm talking. You know? Uh, and like I said, we're out here just doing proactive activity, make sure no one's 
up to no good or nothing oh, of like course, that. Of course. The officer has just admitted that this stop had nothing to do with the taillight. This means that they are well aware of the vagueness of the law and how they can manipulate it to arbitrarily stop anyone they want to bypass their Fourth Amendment rights to be secure in their person, places, and effects. This is what is known as a pretextual stop, which in the Supreme Court case of Ren v. United States was in my opinion, unjustly ruled as a reasonable means to seize and search a person and their vehicle, regardless of what other personal motivations the officers might have had for stopping the vehicle. Regardless of the terrible ruling, some agencies, including the Los Angeles Police Department, have begun limiting their officers' use of pretextual stops as they more often than not cause a burden and violate the individual rights of otherwise law-abiding citizens in the hopes that the officers can catch a possession or DUI charge. The point is that this was nothing more than a fishing expedition. The officers continue, alleging that when people film, they know something's up. Obviously, I, when there's guys who are kind of like start videotaping us and all that stuff, my experience, the way I've known it, something's up. Well, I mean, hey, man. Whether for my safety and yours, that's all. That's all it that's is. Accountability. Accountability. That's we we have stuff monitoring. My career is too much. Because I'm sorry to say, but with what I've been seeing in the news these past few years, it and that's, that's scared that's to death, right man. You scared to death. Care too much about what the media thinks, and not actually what. But hey, right man, here. it's it's real life. It's, do, it's what's happening. You know. I'm not gonna stop you from doing what you got to do for your own safety. I got you. Let you know. Okay, that's it. Okay. So, it's just the brighter lights, I'm guessing. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, man, like I saw you circling the block, are you guys just like dumpster diving or just... No, no, no. I have a buddy out there. I, I was just going to see if he was even there, but he wasn't. Which buddy is uh, I prefer not to say. Okay, that. that's fine. Remember that you do not have to answer questions, that anything you say will only be used against you. Law enforcement officers are not asking questions to help you out, and you do not have to help them investigate you, especially after they've admitted that they pulled you over for one thing to investigate you for something else. Stop talking and film every encounter. A big thanks to Chester for sending this in. He has no channel to send you to, so be sure to leave your message for him in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like to submit for review, use the link in the description or pinned comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for future content. And remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. It really helps the channel. If you enjoy our content, try our other channels, Lackluster Limited for criminal psychology content and The Odd Side for paranormal videos. Shirts and other merchandise are available at the Teespring store. Memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to help further support the channel and get a slick lack logo next to your name. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All links are down below.